you guys it's Valley Bomb, the perfume don back at you with another fragrance video but today today i'm exhausted i'm literally so tired you can see it in my face you can hear it in my voice the girl is whipped and that's why i have on my pajamas i'm going to be going to sleep right after this but i want to come on here and share with you guys some packages that finally arrived because I'm going to have some exciting videos coming up that I need to share with you guys. But first, I have to let you know what's new in my collection. So if you like fragrance, if you love smelling good, if you love feeling good from the inside out, you're in the place to be. Go ahead, join my Perfume Mafia by hitting subscribe. Like this video if you like this video. Because how would I know that you like this video if you will simply not like this video? Hit the notification bell and make sure that you're subscribed also because in the community tab, I always share different deals, different steals that are going on with the fragrance community. So you do not want to miss out on those. Also, if you have any more specific fragrance questions, hit me up on Instagram. It's Volleyvon the Perfume down on there and let's get into this video, okay? So again, as I mentioned, I had a few fragrances come in my haul, and one of them is super, 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 well, they're all exciting, but one is especially exciting because if you are not new to my channel, if you've been following me for some time, periodically I do a perfume wish list video, and one of these fragrances were mentioned in my perfume wish list video. So now it was a wish of mine, but I found it, and actually for a really good deal, really, really good deal. And it's now in my collection and it's stellar. So let's get into it. The first fragrance that I picked up is a nice affordable scent. It's from one of my favorite celebrities. It's, it's a celebrity scent. Again, very affordable, but very fun and very appropriate for the summertime. And it is none other than from Miss Paris Hilton. I believe this one's called Dazzle. If I have it incorrect, correct me, please. But this is a fun, so, oh my God, this is such a fun, almost like candy it's, it it smells like a candy lollipop cherry scented a cherry scented ring pop no that's what it smells like it smells like a freaking ring pop i don't know why i've been talking about ring pops so much recently but this literally smells like a cherry scented ring pop so i love this scent oh my god it literally smells so 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 freaking good Mm, literally it smells like candy it also smells like do you know those things you would get at the fair where it's kind of like the rock candy it smells like rock candy it just smells sugared like sugared candies sugared cherries actually but it's so much fun if you know me you know i love a cherry scent and i cannot wait to layer this with vanilla scents um with more deeper scents like leather try to recreate a girl on la petite robe noir type scent or something else a little bit deeper so I can kind of have a Tom Ford Lost Cherry type of scent. But this is just so much fun. And I've been eyeing this for a while, but I picked it up for a really good deal. Paris Hilton Dazzle. And what's that, what size is this? 1.7 fluid ounce. That's how it looks. Decent amount. I just wanted to try it. Would I repurchase? I think, you know what? Any of these that you want to see a more in-depth review, drop them below and I can do that. I'll try to keep this tight and concise for you and then also for me because i'm tired i'm tired girl all right the next one that i have actually come from my mama my mommy i'm so excited that she gave me this scent because i've been wanting it for so long again if you follow me for some time you know that i always talk about how i want this scent but she gave it to me and for new subscribers thank you so much for joining my perfume mafia welcome to the gang 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 you probably do not know that my mother is also a fragrance reviewer, so please check her out. Her fragrance channel is called Love of Fragrances. She's awesome. She rocks, and you would thoroughly enjoy yourself there. But she gifted me with the Versace Yellow Diamond Intense. I have the Yellow Diamond, but the Yellow Diamond Intense is just even more zesty, floral, funness, and perfect as the temperature is rising. This is going to be great for the summer. Love this scent, love the bottle, and Versace just makes great scents all around. So, thank you, Mama. Love that one. I just love that scent. I, I think that's one that I'll always have in my collection, always and forever. Okay, the next one is actually one of those deals that I told you guys about. I got this one um, online. Amazon had it for very affordable. I guess if you shop around, you might be able to find a better deal, but I think it was like under. It was definitely under twenty dollars. I think under $15 as well, but I'm talking about it's Katy Perry, another celebrity scent. This is Meow. 
what size is this? 3.4 fluid ounce. Now this is, this this is a blind buy for me. I did not smell it before, but I just had to go and pick it up because I heard that it smells like vanilla ice cream. And it does. And it freaking does. I actually saw online. Sometimes I do a video where I read Frangrantica reviews and it's actually quite fun. And the next one I'm going to be doing, well, I won't reveal it. I'll just do it for you guys. But when I was reading reviews on Frangrantica for this one, a lot of people were complaining about the performance and the community tab when I posted it. But for me, I don't mind a juvenile scent. I don't mind a scent that isn't that complex and I don't mind a scent that lacks a lot of longevity. Sometimes you just want to smell something. Not everything's going to be a powerhouse. Not everyone wants a scent that's going to be 12 hours max. Sometimes you just want a little spritz of something fun, delicate, soft, and sweet. And that's what this fragrance is. Yeah, very, very nice compliment getter for sure it's great for snuggling too if you have a significant other i'm sure they will enjoy this scent on you no it doesn't it's not loud it doesn't really project or that sort of thing but that's okay especially um if you have to be in a tight uh court tight what is it called tight interactions with people and they don't really want to have a huge predict projecting scent on them yeah i like it vanilla ice cream i had such a huge craving for ice cream dude let me tell you yesterday oh my god it was a mission i have had a craving for ice cream for about two weeks now but i've been trying to fight it trying to fight it. i've ate up everything in my kitchen trying to fight this craving for vanilla ice cream so yesterday i told myself i was like you know what treat yourself girl treat yourself so I tried, and it was the hardest time I ever had trying to get some freaking vanilla ice cream. So I didn't go to the store to get in because I didn't want any in my place. I'm not really a sweet tooth person. Every once in a while, I'll get a craving for something. I'll just get it like I had the craving for the ice cream. But yesterday, I just had to have it, so I decided to go to a fast food restaurant to try to get it that way so I could just have a single serving and be done with it, girl. I just want to be done. Oh my God, it was the worst. It was the worst. It was the worst. Went to Starbucks, found out that they are actually limited hours now because of COVID-19. So they had just closed at five. I was there at 5.30. I was like, um, no, hello. Just missed it. I went to two Burger Kings. The first Burger King, I asked them, do you guys have shakes? They have amazing, amazing Oreo shakes. But she told me that this is exactly what she said. I said, do you guys have shakes right now? And she said, yes, we do, but we don't right now. And I'm like, what does that even mean? That means you do not have shakes right now, ma'am. Why did you psych me out? So anyways, left there. I was like, thank you very much. Sped off, went to the next Burger King, but I did not want to get my shake from there because they only hire teenagers. I don't want any teenager selling me any food. They're in there, they're dancing, they're twerking, they're freaking on making TikTok videos, hitting the whoa. They're dropping stuff in the food. They don't care. Give me someone that is a senior citizen making my food. They're really going to care. They're going to take their time and they're too slow to get on. Well, that's not true. Well, hopefully they won't be on TikTok and distract and touching their nasty phone while they're touching, touching my burger. It's nasty. But anyways, I got out of that line and then I went and ended up going to Arby's where I got their orange cream sickle shake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It was so amazing and they had a deal. It was $1 root beer float. So it was all delicious and I ended up getting it for free. So score. It was so amazing. Loved it. But I got my fix for vanilla ice cream and I got my fix for vanilla ice cream scents as well all in one. So I'm doing amazing. I'm doing really, really, really good. So yeah. Another thing that I might want to mention is the fact that this haul is kind of like a mishmash of things that my mother gave me, things that I've bought off of other people in the fragrance community. That's why you notice that some of them are like half full or missing the tops so or that sort of thing. And other ones that I have purchased from Amazon. So it's like a, a mishmash of all of that, okay? All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is going to be from YSL. This is another iconic scent. This is a black opium. You know this one. It was like really popular two years ago. It's still, still super popular. Everyone knows it. A lot of people have already smelled it, but it was at its height, I feel like two years ago. Um, this is the EDP, the original. They have so many flankers that they come out with. The most recent one is the neon one this year, which I... Yeah, maybe I'll do a review about it. But this one has that prominent coffee note, and I believe it's vanilla as well. It's a super seductive, sexy, sweet, 
evening scent for me um but women really really like it and a lot of women if you ask them what's their signature scent they're gonna say why sell black opium but i have this in my collection now i've always known what how it smells and i just always wanted to add it i'm gonna do some fun videos featuring this scent so stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned okay the next one that we have is going to be i had to pick this up i had to pick this up because you know i have the killian love don't be shy which is rihanna's how do we know Rihanna's, wait, 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 Rihanna's signature scent. We don't know that. We don't know that, but whatever. That's what they say. And since I had that one, I feel like I had to pick up something that's quite similar. Definitely very, very similar. And that is Killian's line for Sephora, more affordable range by Killian. And this is Princess. Oh, well, I guess you can't hold it like that. What? Oh, yeah, you can. I just didn't have it secure. So it says, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Ooh, am I jinxing myself? Because actually I am looking for a prince. But anyways, this juice is quite amazing. It is, this is, this is how I actually would imagine Ariana Grande's cloud would smell. A lot of people have smelled this one. Very, very nice. It's like sugary. It's light. It's airy. It's, um... What's that word? Diaphanous. Ooh. Hit it with the vocab. Diaphanous. Look it up. Look it up, man. If you don't know, it's freaking diaphanous. It's 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 a wonderful, wonderful scent. Um, I think this is an all-year versatile scent. I'm not gonna say anymore because I might want to do a review. <sighs> nice. Noise. Noise. Okay. And the last one is the one that was on my was that one of my perfume wish list? Maybe the, um, this might have been as well. I don't know. Maybe this one too. It was in, in my mind. These were in my mind as on my perfume wish list. The Black Opium, the uh, Princess by By Killian, and the uh, Yellow Diamond Intense. But now I have them. I'm so excited. Love, love, love. Okay, now, but the one that was like really on my perfume wish list, like, been lusting after this scent and I've been wearing it for a few days and let me tell you a okay I won't give anything away but let me just tell you just look at my face look 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 it's serious man all right this is by Rado flower head of the parfum oh my gosh oh my gosh this is a this is a floral, of course. Flower Head is a floral scent. But let me tell you, dude. Oh my God, I'm trying not to give too much away. It's not what you would expect. If you smelled a Byredo scent, Byredo will shock you with this scent. This is absolutely a floral scent. Very beautiful. This is a beautiful scent. If you've ever thought of a beautiful scent, this is it. But this is... I didn't curse. I'm sorry. I, I just ate some Taco Bell. So, excuse me. But this is a beautiful scent. It's lovely. It's charming. It is enchanting. And it is intriguing as well. Suede, Angelica, Cranberry, Lemon, Tuberose, Jasmine. Lovely. And that's my haul. That's all I have, you guys. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any fragrances from that bunch that you know that you want me to do a review on, please type below. Type below, let me know. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.